What's going on everyone, College Lefty, and in this one I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the event. It's been a few hours and I've had some time to think about this event and I wanted to kind of just talk about some ideas that I had. So I'm going to be showing you guys the quick team real quick, like in the previous video I showed you guys the team that I was rocking with in, the, in this event. And I went up against some good teams, I went up against some teams that didn't have Immortals, I went up against a couple teams that had Bronze cards, I went up against a couple, yeah, some budget teams and, and I just, it, made, it got me to think got me thinking a little bit just about some of the content and about these rewards this late in the season so in i'm going to be, be going over some of the the current rewards in that cliff floyd and ian kinsler once again and i'm going to be just kind of going over so about 10 other options i think we could have gotten as rewards instead or kind of some hypothetical situations just ideas that i that i kind of came across so this ian kinsler is the card that we got as you guys saw in the previous video if you watched it yesterday and this card is not usable it's not very good at all actually and honestly a, a few of the previous event rewards are honestly better like that that Dustin Pedroia is a little bit better there's many second basemen that are, are much better than this card I'd arguably say that the Ben Zobrist is better than this card when it comes to power that was a card we saw previously in an event for second base and then we got this outfielder Cliff Floyd who is a little bit more usable but with 73 and 79 power just not gonna cut it on most teams especially this late in the season now, what I wanted to talk about is kind of the marketing aspect of MLB The Show 18 and they're moving forward in 19. When it, when it was about December 20, like around Christmas time, right after, I mean, or let's go back to November, around Black Friday and Christmas time, I know MLB The Show went on sale. MLB 18 The Show went on sale for about eight or for about 20 bucks or so, and that's what happens every year. So what I wanted to say is I wanted to just give, as I go through a few other options that we could have had, we got this Harmon Killer Brew. I thought we could have had another Harmon Killer Brew later on, a diamond version. Uh, we had, we saw some in 17, but what I wanted to talk about was the marketing aspect. I hadn't seen MLB post anything about buying MLB 18, the show, after a certain time. I mean, I understand that they're developing MLB 19, but wouldn't you still want people to buy this year's game? Maybe I've had, I've had a bunch of people ask me, should I get MLB The Show 18? I really want to get a baseball game. And I've told numerous people not to get this year's game because it's already late in the game cycle with the rewards that are out. I mean, yes, you can do a couple of the programs in the postseason and the future stars. You get a couple good diamond players and you can build your team pretty quickly with that. Get Immortals in George Brett, Dennis Eckersley, and Mike Trout. Yes, you can build a pretty good team. But we could have seen some of these other cards from last year's game, more, more usable cards this late in the year. That probably would have persuaded me to tell those people yes if you want to get MLB 19 maybe purchase MLB 18 grind it out a little bit try it try it out see if you like it MLB 19 should be similar I mean maybe they're, they're obviously going to make some adjustments but as far as uh, getting a good team you would be able to get a, a decent team fairly quickly but with the Immortals being the best cards and having to do all those grind all the grinding you just wouldn't be able to get uh, an end game team as quickly as in years past but this, I mean, for example, this Carlos Gonzalez, I know what a lot of people would have wanted. It would have been competed, or would have competed with the Bryce Harper. It kind of did last year, but that card had some topspin. This Gaylord Perry, I thought for sure we would see. But once they kind of said no more new legends, I figured we wouldn't see those new legends. We wouldn't see this card. But I did check and make sure that he's actually in MLB 18. He's on the mid-century groundbreakers. I went ahead and, and took a look at that. This is his player art, player card from that. His per nines aren't really that great, and he didn't have a fork ball on this specific team but I think they could have uh, edited his stats a little bit game of fork ball and he would have been a, a definitely a good card in this year's game anyway to get back on what I was saying is that I kind of had a couple options I mean I, I showed you guys these cards I also have some some other options as well later on but I think the last few events that we've had we've gotten the 91 Dustin Pedroia 90 overall Dustin Pedroia then we got the 91 overall Votto then we got these two 87s so just to put it in perspective, I think we have some other options in this in this video right here. I don't know all the legality re requirements and getting the player rights to these cards and stuff like that. But there are definitely some viable options, definitely some cards that I thought would have been released. Maybe some of these cards or a couple of these options will be released in the forever event. I'm not sure. I, I expect that one to be coming out soon. I also am going to be talking a little bit about the MLB 19 uh, live stream schedule. should be coming around uh, the end of this event, February 4th time frame. I was looking at some screenshots from previous years and how they would do the, the live stream reveals and stuff like that. We kind of saw that stuff in February, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that coming up here in the next two weeks or so. But uh, this is a bi uh, definitely a biased opinion. I thought we would... We had a leaked Immortal Verlander card, and I was wondering if we would see a better Verlander card from the Tigers, maybe that postseason one from last year. Uh, I would have been nice to see a, a more of a power 
more of a power hitting Lou Brock. We got the breakout version instead of this postseason version. Would have been nice to have a, a little bit of a better Lou Brock. That card, I mean, I know it's another outfielder and we have Immortals, but that's kind of where I wanted to go in with this next conversation is in the last couple, the last couple cards, last couple options of this are different versions of Immortals. I understand that MLB The Show 18 and the developers said that there would not be uh, purchasable Immortals on the market. But hear me out on this. What if, what if there is a hypothetical situation where 15 wins gives you an option of one of these cards? I mean, I'm showing a silver Joey Gallo because there was a, a Future Stars show Joey Gallo in the last year's game, and I wanted to kind of compare them. I think we could have seen a souped up Gallo, and that would have been awesome because it's a kind of a, a community favorite card. Everybody used this dude in uh, this year's game. But anyway, hypothetical situation, 15 wins gets you one of these cards. I have the gold Babe Ruth here pictured, and I have the gold Vlad, and I also have the diamond Bob Gibson. And I'm going to get into that in a second here. So 20 wins gives you a 90 to 94. These are all hypotheticals. These are not the actual event rewards. 25 wins gives you one of these options, Babe, Vlad, Gibson, or a choice of one of the three. And what I mean is not these gold cards. These are the new cards that we saw in the game. New Immortals, new cards that we had added to this year's game. In Babe Ruth, Vlad, and Bob Gibson. Three of the main ones. We did see a couple other cards added, new legends and stuff like that, but these are the Immortals that were new. Imagine if we got one of these cards, a diamond version, a low, like not a, not a high diamond, not like a 97 that competes with the Immortal, but a mid, a mid 90s diamond, like 94, 95 range with, with some of these cards. And for this, and imagine for this event, if you got a choice to pick one. Say you already have Babe Ruth and Vlad as Immortals. Say you've been grinding those cards out, but you didn't throw the thousand five hundred whatever the heck innings it took to get Bob Gibson. You didn't strike out the fifty thousand people that you needed to in in computer grinding. So you you want to pick the Bob Gibson pitcher, nineteen thirty Cy Young version. I mean, we got his his nineteen. I forget what it was. He was a lot younger. He was. This was like a thirty-four year old Bob Gibson. We got like a twenty-something year old breakout Bob Gibson, where he was like fifteen and thirteen with like a couple shutouts and a bunch of complete gains. He pitched pretty well. But we got that eighty-five Gibson. At this point in the season, none of those cards are usable. And for people that don't have Immortals like Babe Ruth, Vlad, and Bob Gibson, or and, and this is just an example. These are three that I thought would have been good ideas. Now you guys might disagree, you might say, I grinded all these cards out and I want to use the Immortal version. And that might be the case too. But what? hear me out on this. What I'm saying is, is I also have all the Immortals unlocked. I think that it would have been a smart idea to market the game in MLB 18 to show like, hey, if you want to try out one of these new legends, all you have to do is get the new game for 20, or get the game for 20 bucks. If you're thinking about getting 19 and want to try it out, Get the game. You're gonna have to go through a gauntlet. If you just got the game for Christmas or, or New Year's around that time frame, even Black Friday, you're gonna be going through a gauntlet of all Immortals anyway. It's gonna be tough to get these wins. You might say like 35 wins for that is is or 25 wins for one of these cards is not is is nothing. But at the same time, like I think it's gonna be tough a challenge for those guys to get it. And then and then all this all those would be sellable. So everybody would have an option to get one of these cards, and they would all be sellable. And everybody has a chance to get them, so I don't think the price would be all that exp expensive. And anyway, if it, if it was, it should be expensive because these cards that we're seeing for 10,000 stubs in these events in January just doesn't make any sense to me. These cards aren't aren't going to be usable unless you just got the game and you want. And even then, if you do the postseason program, that Steve Pierce is going to be a better second baseman than the than that one, and he's also a better outfielder than Cliff Floyd. And same with some of the cards in there, like that Aaron Judge, that Cody Bellinger. It just doesn't make any sense to me why they wouldn't add in some of these cards or some of these options and try to market towards yeah if you want to get MLB 18 why not it's not that MLB 19 is coming out and it's around the corner I understand that they want to market towards that as well I just haven't seen anything about this year's game in the last like month and a half or so it might be because I'm not always looking but I just kind of wanted to do this this research this video here and kind of extend it on a little bit but i wanted to show you guys just kind of what i was thinking let me know what you guys think about some of these card options let me know what you guys think about maybe a different version of these immortals a sellable version i know they they mentioned that that wouldn't be the case but things could change i mean it was an it was just an idea i thought a lot about and i just i don't know i, I kind of just i was i'm still playing this event don't get me wrong i was having a lot of fun with it i had a five and one run and i'm gonna try to get the rewards for it because of that guaranteed finest but imagine if they gave a guaranteed finest on top of a card like this, where where they gave you some usable cards, a 90 to 94 that you could sell for some stubs to build your team. 
um, a finest card that's good and then one of these cards that is not an immortal but it, it's a version of an immortal that's actually usable these cards weren't really weren't that usable the gold bay root the gold vlad and then the 85 gibson but thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out